Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hugo Sanchez. Now, this guy has got 3 star skills and a 4 star weak for high medium work rates, which are fantastic. Now, his stats look incredible, they really do. He's got some incredible stats 92 acceleration, sprint speed's fantastic. Shooting looks like something I've never seen before. Looks absolutely amazing. Short pass on point, long pass run away from that. Dribbling look fantastic, looks fantastic. Heading brilliant. And some really good physicals over there. Aggression and strength are a little bit low. And I've boosted them up. And you know what? I could definitely sense that in game. Looks like a fantastic, fantastic card. Hasn't got the finesse shot trait, unfortunately. But I tell you something. And the first thing that absolutely shines out about this guy is his amazing, amazing attack positioning. He knows where to be in the right time, in the right place. I have to give him that. He's definitely, definitely got a special trait over there of knowing where to be at the right time. And you know what? It kind of, it kind of changes the card massively. When a card knows where to be, he's got 93 pace, you no longer need skills. In my opinion, like this card hasn't got four star skills. I wasn't, I was playing with him. Don't get me wrong, there were some good players, but I didn't find myself crying that, oh no, why have I not got four star skills? I felt like his pace, his dribbling, his positioning, his passing was super good. And I've definitely, definitely felt that the Hawk chemistry style improved his physicals because this guy was holding off people. I'm talking about the likes of Adair Militao and some very physical players. He was absolutely fantastic. Honestly, he really was. Another thing I was worried about was his composure. But to be honest with you, 90% of the time, it, it was at the back of the net. There was no issues whatsoever. So I'm not really too sure about that composure start because when this guy was in the box he was all about finishing the ball now as a negative he did miss he did miss here and there and that would be a con but besides that you've got to respect the fact this guy has outstanding short pass great dribbling he's got a decent weak foot a four star he's got three star skills but he's probably got the best attack positioning of any striker that I've ever had. I love his work rates at high medium. Of course, high low is the best, but high medium with 93 pace, absolutely fantastic. He's also got quite a big presence on pitch. And there, look at that attack positioning being there and look at that, showing that strength. And that is a nice pass there to Henke and Henke doing what Hendrik Larsson does best. And that is pouring the ball at the back of the net. So going forward, would you purchase this card? Absolutely. Look at that attack positioning. Here, a little bit unlucky, you know, maybe composure, maybe it's the wrong shot, maybe I should have finessed. But like I said, he is definitely a presence in the box as well when it comes to heading the ball. He's got quite curly hair. And I definitely felt like that was an advantage because I could spot him out. It's a bit like, it's a bit like Hendrik Larsson's prime card. I kind of really like that because of his dreads. He's, he's just, you can, you can find him from anywhere, but basically from these clips what are you seeing you're seeing a clinical finisher someone who's got the best attack positioning of any striker i've ever used including team of the season cards you're looking at someone who's got a very good short pass you got someone who can finish the ball you're looking at basically a complete forward the only negatives i've got for him are the only negatives i've got for him i just wish i do wish that he had a little bit more composure and he could finish the ball at all times and maybe maybe for some people you know having skills four star skills would have been better it would have been better but is it the end of the world when he got his attack positioning no not really he's unbelievable i'm gonna give him a 9.7 out of 10 because he only cost me 620k and that's a bargain